when you read the word, we need to try to read it more spiritual than fleshly. The word is literal, but the word defines itself. The whole world defines itself. The word, the whole word defines itself. Yahuwah, the Lord God Almighty, repeated himself so that we cannot get things confused. That's why you read the word yourself. The whole Bible, both new and old, you have to bring them both together. They work together. It is called the living word. He's the whole word. He's living together. Yes. So, that's my opinion on the the um, devouring fire, uh, burning. Um, when you go into these definitions as well, we will not get into that. That's a whole other study when, the, when it comes to even the word burning. Um there it's it's um it's it talks a lot about the mental um yeah the 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 thoughts okay so verse 8 of 15 of Ezekiel and I will make the land desolate because they have committed a trespass saith you who the Lord and then he goes on down in chapter 16 and talks about Jerusalem um telling Jerusalem to know her abominations here we are again with Jerusalem. But there is one that I was trying to get to. Ah. How did we miss Jeremiah chapter 2 talking about the harlot? Did we even read it? Well, we're going to read it now. Jeremiah, oh, we went to 6 a minute ago. 20, Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 20 and 21. For of old time. I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands. And thou saidest, I will not transgress. When upon every high hill and under every green tree thou wanderest, playing the harlot. Yet I had planted thee a noble vine, woolly a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? For though thou wast wash thee with not a tree, niter, niter, eh, and take thee much soap, sop, yet thine iniquity is marked before me, marked, marked before me, saith Yahuwah the Lord, Elohim God. How canst thou say, I am not polluted, I have not gone after Balaam? See thy way in the valley, know what thou hast done, thou art swift dreamdry, traversing her ways, a wild ass used a whip. Used to the wilderness that snuffeth up the wind at her pleasure, in her occasion, who can turn her away? All they that seek her will not weary themselves. In her month they shall find her. Withhold thy foot from being unshod, and thy throat from thirst. But thou saidest, There is no hope. No, for I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. As the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed. They, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets. The kings of the prophets. The bones of the prophets. The bones of the, the priests. The bones of the princes. The bones of the king. Interesting. Chapter 8 of Jeremiah. Saying to a stock, Thou art my father, and to a stone, Thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, Arise and save us. But where, where are thy, thy gods? thy false gods that thou hast made thee. Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of thy cities are thy false gods, O Judah. Wherefore will ye plead with me? Ye all have transgressed against me, saith Yahuwah the Lord. In vain have I smitten your children. They received no correction. Your own sword hath devoured your prophets like a destroying lion. Woo! Woo, Lord Jesus! Hallelujah. We love our Father. We love Him. Okay. So we have, um, we broke down some stuff here. We have, not us, Jesus, Yeshua, Yahuwah, Yahusha has broke down some things for us. Let's go to, uh, Psalms 80. Seven. Turn us again, O Yahuwah God, Zavod of hosts, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Thou hast brought a vine out of Egypt. Thou hast cast out the heathen and planted it. Thou preparest room before it, and didst cause it to take deep root, and it filled the land. 
The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the bows thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her bows into the sea, and her branches into the river. And why hast thou then broken down her hedges, so that all they which pass by the way do pluck her? The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. Return, we beseech thee, O Yahuwah the God, Zavod of hosts. Look down from heaven, and behold, and visit this vine, and the vineyard which thy right hand hath planted, and the branch that thou mightest made us strong for thyself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down. They perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man, whom thou madest strong for thyself. So will not we go back from thee. Quicken us, and we will call upon thy name. Turn us again, O you who are the Lord, thou art of hosts. Cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. Here he is. He's talking to his children. He's talking to his children. Okay. Did we read the one? Speaking about that, um, he's going to turn, set my face against them, Ezekiel 15. We did. He says that he's going to set his face against them. And they're going to go from one fire and, and, and go into another one. Here he is in, in Psalms 80. This is David praying, uh, the chief musician upon Psalm of Asaph. So I don't even know who this guy is, but what I do know is he's praying. He's singing a song, and it just so happens he brings up this vine, who is Jerusalem, and what does he say? Turn your face back to us, or shine your face upon us. And what does he say in Ezekiel 15? Six and seven, he's going to turn his face. And if you actually go to Ezekiel 15 and read the whole thing, he's talking more times than once about how he's turned his face away from him. Turned his face. <laughs> Y'all, this vine that, that, that is going to be smashed up, and it's going to be the blood of it is going to come out. The, that blood. Think about this vine. This vine is smashed up in the wine press of the wrath of Yahuwah God. All the vials, the seven vials that are filled up, are going to be filled up with this blood. I really think this. Or... Are all the vials that are filled up? Is one of them going to be filled up of this? I think it's all of them because he's going to be smashing it, and it's going to become blood. And not just that, but he smashes in the wine press of the wrath of you, who the Lord God Almighty. This fine, and he feeds it to the people. He gives it to them. So, this vine. Maybe one of the cups is gal. Maybe one of the cups is wormwood. Maybe this blood that comes out that's, you know, the in the wine press that's smashed from this vine, the blood that comes out of this vine, maybe, you know, just like the seven spirits of the Holy Spirit, maybe the blood, because remember, the covering, they cover themselves with the spirit that is not of you who is the Lord God Almighty. Well, if Satan counterfeits everything, our father does the exact opposite then satan's going to have seven false spirits he's going to have seven spirits so what if one of the one, one of the spirits is gal and what if one of them is wormwood is it, it, these are all thoughts you know to to pray about these are things to pray about because you know everything that we've put together no doubt 100% the blood that comes through this wine press is the blood that, it, that fills up the cups of the vial. The vials of the wrath of Yahuwah, the Lord God Almighty. These seven vials. But what are in these seven vials? One of them's got to be gal. One of them's got to be wormwood. Is it both together? He says, I'll feed them both gal and wormwood. You know, did we even get into a lot of those Bible verses? Let's just read, you know, some of them. 
Proverbs 5, um, 3 and 4, For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Um, Jeremiah 9, 15. We already read that one. There, no, we didn't. Therefore, thus saith you, the Lord, Zabot of hosts, that you who of Israel, behold, I will feed them, even this people, with wormwood, and give them gal to drink. I will feed them wormwood, and give them gal to drink. Well, that's Jesus saying he's going to, you know, you're going to eat my flesh and drink my blood. So, this is the, what wormwood is the flesh of Satan, and gal is the blood, is the spirit. So wormwood is his word, is the words, because um, uh, eat my flesh is Jesus saying you will eat of my word. You can only live off every word that proceeds out of the mouth of you who is the Lord God Almighty. So is wormwood the flesh, the word, Satan's word, the false teaching, and gal, Jesus says you will drink my blood. That's drinking of his Holy Spirit when in breath. So is gal, give you gal to drink, is that Satan's spirit, that covering that they cover with, that is not of you who are the Lord God Almighty's? I think maybe Jesus just blessed us with a little, a little breadcrumb of information. I really do. Woo! Hallelujah. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. I really think that that's what's going on here. Y'all give me um, your comments. Oh, and I'm sorry that I haven't... Please forgive me. Not I'm sorry. But please forgive me for not commenting back. I got like 5,000 things going on. But I love every one of y'all. I mean, love, love, love you. Seriously, y'all keep me uplifted. I am so very grateful for every one of y'all. Y'all have just... This right here is, is, this is keeping me alive. This is keeping me alive. And I thank y'all. I thank y'all for listening. I thank you for commenting. I thank you for just praying. I thank you for being there for me. Because y'all are just truly, ever since Opie passed away, this, um, this studying has really, um, blessed me, blessed me, okay, I love y'all so much, and I hope y'all are blessed in the name of Yahusha, and thank you so much for listening.